Hi there, I'm Holly and this is Bridal Hair on My Wedding Scrapbook. Today I'm going to show you how to do this gorgeous, vintage inspired bridal style which is perfect for shorter hair. Prep for this look is really important because you're going to need to get quite a set style before you brush it out. So we're going to prep the hair with some mousse. So just make sure you brush the mousse through the top layers and the bottom layers too so the hair is kind of almost damp before you start. Sectioning off the hair is also really important for a look like this. So we're going to start with quite a deep side parting so we get a really dramatic look at the front. So once you have your side parting made, we're going to split again right at the crown, just using in around the ear as a guide. So we're left with this section of hair here. So we're going to split the section again into about three pieces. So the smaller the section and the tighter the curl, the tighter the wave you're going to get. So if you want quite a real strict 1920s finger wave style, you're going to need quite a narrow barrel on your tongs. But if you want what we're going for, which is kind of more of a looser, just a nod to vintage style, you can take about an inch and a half section and a wider barrel. So once you're happy with your section, grab your wand or your tongs and wrap the hair around, getting right in at the root, and curl the hair back in towards the face. So you're kind of curling under and over, Oops. and then just hold in place for about 15 seconds or until you can feel the heat coming through the hair. So slide the tongs out, and then I'm going to use these clamps. They're just straight clamps and they're handy because they leave no mark on the hair. Pin your curl in place and allow it to cool. So I've finished the hair in this section, working manageable chunks over two layers. So I'm just going to keep on doing this, constantly rolling the hair in towards the head, working in about one and a half to two inch square sections until I've used up all of the hair. Once you've left your curls to cool for about five to ten minutes, you can start taking the clamps out. So you should end up with quite tight, springy curls, which is exactly the look we're going for. So I'm going to use this bristle brush to start to brush out the curls. What we're going to do is we're going to brush them in the direction of an S. And you will see that it starts to work itself into a really sweet little S shape. So what I generally do is I clamp the curls now and let the weight of the clamp drag the hair down. And we just do the exact same on the top layers. So brushing them over. You can see we have a lovely S shape here at the top. So work with this and then clamp the hair as necessary. So we've brushed out all the hair and tried to work it into an S band as much as possible. So we're going to take out our little clamps Oops. and hope that everything stays in place. So as you can see when you take down the top roll as well it leaves a lovely soft kind of romantic turn over the face. So just using your tail comb with the end of your brush Kind of work everything back into the style, making sure to just skim back any little flyaways that will be picked up by the camera. So once you're happy with your style, we're going to pop a good bit of hairspray on it to make sure it lasts the whole day. So there you go, a beautiful vintage inspired look, perfect for all you short haired brides out there. If you liked the video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Do tune in next week where I'll be showing you how to do a super easy bridal hairstyle on yourself. See you then guys.